Here's a first look at the chain I've been working on in my head um, in the task manager. <coughs> I've been having folks tell me that they've been putting in the editor of large, large sets of tasks uh, lists and making the menus unwieldy. Um, as folks know, uh, the menus here for currently assigned tasks, um, these are generated based on all of the tasks that are defined. So folks have been asking if there's a way to give tasks um, levels. So I'm working on one level um, right now. Uh, I'm not sure I'll go deeper than that. Uh, there are challenges with the menuing system um, to keep having lots of levels. It's not a folder structure in any way, shape, or form. So. Um, the way that I'm implementing this, and you can see how it's running here, um, you go to manage tasks, you'll see that the task process has been rearranged. Um, you'll see on here, task items have been moved over to the left. So these are items that deal directly with tasks. Things that manage existing tasks live on the right. Um, so let's say I wanted to create a new group. I would go to new task group, select the option. generates a new task uh, group. I go to assign groups. So it shows me the defined groups that are here. I'm going to say video and I'm going to then select the tasks that I want to move into that group for testing. Uh, I can select as many as I want. I can select things in other task groups and I'll move them. Uh, when I'm done I tell it to assign resets up my tasks, so you'll see now these are the default group, cleanup group, generic testing group, and the video task group. When I close this now, and I look inside my task list, you'll see that the tasks have been moved around here. So now I have these groups, um, and I'm actually going to, this is actually needs to be restructured a little bit, um, the way that the task grouping should work is that it should be set in alphabetical order. Again, not something that happens by default in um, Windows. Uh, I'm having to add a little code to do that, but this gives you a general idea of kind of the direction that I'm moving um, and uh, how this will work. Will the same thing work on the Mac side? I think, but I'm not positive yet. The other thing that I've added um, to the tool um, but I'm not going to show it yet because it's not working completely, is folks have told me that they like to use things like uh, Macro Express with the tool. And so with Macro Express, you can uh, generate things based on Alt keys. So like Alt T to open the tools, and then like Alt T, and then we have the Alt key pressed, and you can see all of the things that are underlined. Um, I have set it up so that um, this will be true of the tasks soon, so that you'll be able to open the task, arrange task list, and then if you code the task name or the group name using a specific format, um, the uh, underline, so the ability to press Alt key, will continue to work um, through keystrokes down to the task level assuming that you've used the, 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 the proper format when naming um, the tasks. Uh, it's experimental right now. I think that it's going to work. It seems to work. I don't have it turned on for this video. Um, I'll uh, talk about it a little bit later. Right now I'm really focused on getting the grouping working. Um, but it seems like this is something that I can probably make happen. That way folks who want to um, set up um, automation shortcuts for any of their tasks through an alt key combination um, and go beyond the simple um, task that you can define uh, through um, shortcut keys uh, can do so that way. Um, so anyways, that's what I've got right now and that's what I'm working on.